Hey, Jack, you guys were able to build that lead and the Cavs kept going on those runs, but how would you just describe how you guys were able to respond every single time. Yeah, it's great to see from the group. Um, just our response. We talked about it. They were going to make runs, which they did. It's a good basketball team that we played against. But uh, our, our shot making tonight was an uh, extreme level, uh, especially from three. That put a lot of pressure on them. Uh, I thought we played with a good amount of pace, over 20 fast break points. So uh, all the things that we talked about at the beginning of the game, we were able to focus on and get accomplished. And how would you describe how you guys were able to kind of pick apart their defenses? their defense and the looks they gave you? Yeah, I think it started with our pace. Uh, for us to get early opportunities, early looks before the defense set. Uh, then we had stops. You know, we, we got stops defensively. Uh, we, you know, took advantage of some lesser shooters at times to crowd the paint and to rebound the basketball. Then off we go in transition. So uh, nicely done by our group tonight. What kind of a, a lift did TJ give you? Yeah, great lift. Yeah, yeah, Brian. Great lift. Uh, he just has a knack of scoring the basketball. It's amazing. You know, he'll get it. some of the t toughest shots. Uh, you know, six-footer, uh, a little bump and a finish. Uh, he shot the three-ball thing. He had two threes at halftime for us. So uh, when he's doing that, it just gives us flexibility to play in with both groups, which you saw, finish the game, which you saw. So uh, um, good to see him, you know, adding up some game and adding up some minutes. Jack, you were saying before the game you thought the key to all of this was getting the focus on basketball again. How did you guys do it? Oh, you know, Nick, I am a simple person and uh, really try to keep things simple. And so really stressed what was going to be beneficial for our team and whether that was uh, the amount of time we spent in shoot arounds, the amount of time we shaved and kept our guys fresh in order to uh, give an extreme amount of effort when we play. Uh, and that was kind of the goal. And we created a little momentum that way. We uh, stripped our playbook down a little bit. We are simple what we do, try to uh, – uh, stress defensively three common things I won't you know say what those are but really common that we can go game to game and make a small adjustment and uh, have our guys play extremely free of mind uh, and I think there's, there's something important to that if you're going to ask you guys to play hard how, how much of that is getting rid of all the stuff that was going on off the floor as well it was without a doubt as part of it and we, we stress that that um, when we came back as a group, we kind of pledged to each other that it was going to be about basketball and um, hopefully not let anything interfere, any outside noise uh, interfere with that. And our guys have done an unbelievable job of protecting each other and uh, making this thing about basketball. When you said when you came back as a group, are you talking – November 1st when you got it? Or are you talking about when Kyrie came back? Uh, I think our shoot around in Washington was kind of the precipice of that. And uh, me getting up in front of the group and uh, being as vulnerable as I could be and explaining the situation and uh, really telling them that I'm going to try to be as consistent as I possibly can with you every day and as honest as I can. Uh, and I'm going to always do what's best for the group. And um, guys really appreciate, appreciate that, I think. Um, and have really grown to, uh, to understand it, understand our ways, and uh, we really create a, an atmosphere of basketball. The, the distractions that you've been able to eliminate for the better part of two months are things that have followed this franchise every year, for years. Do you have to approach it as though you are trying to keep these things out of your locker room for an entire season? I don't think we make it as complex as that because uh, then you're looking too far ahead. Uh, I think we can try to anticipate some things. Uh, a good coach always tries to do that. Uh, but I think overall, I, you know, it really is that simple that each day we're trying to gather as a team and, and think how, how can we get better. Um, I don't think I burden the guys with uh, extras, uh, not for my sake, uh, for it to look prettier than it is. It is a – as simple as we're going to try to get a win that day. And um, not going to change that anytime soon. Jock, you mentioned before the game a lot of conversation that was about Jared Allen and, you know, him going up against Nick and then been having to help. How are you guys able to kind of disrupt him offensively? I know he still, you know, had a double-double and got the rebounds, but how are you guys able to kind of disrupt him? Yeah, I think uh, we took advantage of some matchups that we liked uh, as far as when the basketball was in our hand, uh, whether it was um, – 
I think their rotations were a little different that we forced tonight because of our ability to score the basketball. Uh, and so that put pressure on them. I think we were the aggressors and kind of dictated both on both ends of the floor, which give credit to our guys for doing that.